Hello, I'm Leanne from Crafters Companion and I'm going to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about what I believe, in my opinion, is the very best glue in the world. I absolutely adore Kalal All Purpose Glue and those of you who've seen me on Create and Craft an Idea World will know that I can wax lyrical about this for many, many minutes. So I'm going to try my very best and keep it quick for you so that all you get is the information you need and you don't hear me waxing on about how much I really do love it, but I really do love it. So Kalal All Purpose Glue is the best glue you can find for doing all of your matting and layering. It's a solvent based glue which is a good thing because it means when you use it on all of your craft papers you don't get any buckling with water-based glues it soaks in and you get horrible wrinkly old mess on your paper you won't get that with color all purpose and i just want to take an opportunity very quickly to prove that to you so i've got a, a little piece here of um, craft paper which has been printed onto our satin finish and then i'm just going to put a small amount very little pressure quick movement um, and you'll see there I've got a fine covering of glue on the back of my piece of paper there. And then I'm going to pop it onto my piece of card. Give it a little wiggle because it's a wet glue so I can get it in the perfect position. Rub it down and that's my matting and layering complete. And in a couple of minutes less, that's going to be lovely and dry and bonded permanently. That's one of the reasons I love it. I've got such flexibility. I can get it where I want it. Um, I don't have any buckling and I'm not faffing on peeling the back of double-sided taper off all the time. The other thing I love is it does have the properties of our fabulous photo glue. So if I get this somewhere I don't want it and I'm going to be really brave and put a blob of glue onto my beautiful patterned paper, um, and that's not what you want when you're making a lovely card. You don't want big bits of glue all over. I can, if I'm quick enough, just rub that off and rub it away. And I get all the little grey bits you can see there rubbing. But it actually doesn't damage my piece of card at all. So if you're quick enough, you can get it away, no problem at all. Once it's dry, it then becomes really rigid. Um, so it gives a lovely rigidity and expensive weighty feel without adding weight to your card. So it weighs exactly as it would should you use double sided tape because at the end of the day it's just a glue. But when it's dry it really does become firm. And to prove that I'm just going to give a little knock to my card there and hopefully you can hear and see if I try to bend it that it's not actually possible to bend my card even though it's a relatively lightweight piece of card. So for precision, for tidying up if you've made a mess, for lovely rigidity to your finished projects, to the speed, to being able to wipe it away, it really is for your matting and layering, for all of your flat glue projects, in my opinion, the very best glue in the world. Mm -hmm.